Virgo Sun signs and Leo Sun sign, we are going to take a look at um, all the Virgo Sun sign messages here as well as Leo because Leo is um, ruled by the Sun. So we're going to find out what the Sun has in store for Leo as well as Virgo. Now we got something a little bit different here. We do, we have had this before where we've got these three piles over here, three different doors. You are going to choose a door. We're going to start with these cards and then I'm going to clarify them with a regular tarot deck. Um, the overall energy around this particular reading is going to be in these two cards here. Okay, so we're going to start there. All the decks are going to be listed below. If we go into an extended, that link will be listed below. Um, I think that's everything I need. Now, if you're drawn to more than one door here, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That means there's messages in each of those for you. It could be all three, okay? So door number one, I'm gonna get you to pick your door first and then we're gonna get into the overall energy of the reading. So these are the three doors. Doorway number one. Door number two. And door number three. Okay. So now if you have picked your doors, you'll know what to watch when we get to that place. But we're going to start here with the Motivation Manifesto deck. And it says, Our greatest personal power is the ability to take over our impulses and direct our minds to choices and commitments that will serve us. In other words, the ego, you know, when the ego tries to steer us in a specific direction and gives us impulses and <laughs> tries to control what we're thinking and which direction we go, we need to be in a place. If we want personal power, we need to be in a place where we direct our minds, our thoughts, our feelings, because that's how we attract things into our life. Now, I just, um, I have a reading. Well, it's not a reading. It's on my Chosen Ones channel. I have something going up. I believe it's on Saturday or Sunday that it's publishing. And it's going to be called, um, There's Power in Solitude. So again, it's a play on the word power. And we're talking about personal power here in this reading. So you might want to watch for the Chosen Ones video. This deck is Beyond Lemuria. And every card on the front has a different picture. And on the back, there's a different message. This is our picture. Okay, and on the back, it says, Stepping Through. Step in and step up all those dreams or projects you have been resisting. Now is the time to start, even if it's just one small element of the bigger picture. No more excuses, no more tomorrows. Whatever you have been putting off, the universe is now pushing you to make it happen, Virgo and Leo. You may feel a little outside your comfort zone, but that's where the magic is. You may need to plot a course, invent a way through, or just take a leap. Break it down. Allow the puzzle to come together piece by piece through the courageous act of making a start. We're Virgos. <laughs> we all have many projects on the go, don't we? Leos, I think, are pretty good at... Um, getting their projects done. They start a project and I, from what I've seen, they keep going until that project is done. So for them, this, this reading may be more about the personal power, the controlling your thoughts and your emotions. Okay. So if you've chosen door number one, that's what we're going to go into first. So if you chose two or three, thank you for being here. I'll see you in two or three. Okay. So let's get started. Your door, door number one, says three of cups, a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun, 
Three cups in happiness, three cheers are done. Celebration is near, Virgo. Woohoo! Okay, so that goes there. Now, we've got, yeah, I'll save that one for last. We've got sacred destiny. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't this go with what we just read with the Beyond Lemuria focus? You know, I wasn't going to read out of this book, but I'm feeling like I need to. There's something in here. Hang on a second. I might not read the whole thing, but... Okay, so it says... Mountains traditionally represent transcendence and spiritual evolution. They also symbolize rising above mundane situations and reaching greater heights. The snow at the peak represents pristine clarity. Mountain peaks are often the destination of spiritual pilgrimages. Many cultures believed that the tops of mountains were the resting points of the gods and celestial beings. You are... Uh, you are ascending, obviously, Virgo. Absolutely. And this goes with, I think it's both of the last, well, the one that's coming out on Saturday on The Chosen Ones and the one that um, just came out. This goes perfectly with that. Okay, now this is The Power of Surrender, and it says, Surrender to Wonder and Awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Ooh, this feels so amazing. This is the Priestess of Light and you have, wow, deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I showed this to you. There you go. This goes with my most recent New Moon reading because it talks about, in the main part of the reading and the extended, there's messages that talk about going deeper within ourselves emotionally. And here we've got it again, deep emotions. I feel like there's something sitting deep down inside someone or some of you. You don't even know they're there. They're unknown feelings and they have to do with past life. So they are influencing you energetically and you're not aware of it because you're not aware that they're there, okay? So these could be coming up, bubbling up to the surface, so to speak, so that they can be released. It may be work. That may be what the focus is all about. To try and clear these out. But isn't it interesting? You have focus and deep emotions flanking the surrender to wonder and awe so this is greatness right here in the middle you've got focus and you've got unknown feelings from past life situations interesting okay let's clarify these this is the light seers deck This, okay, this just came to me. This deep emotions, the unknown feelings, past life influences. This could actually be someone stepping into your life. And you have feelings for them, but you don't know that yet because they're from a past life. But once they show up in your world, you're going to recognize them. You're going to know it because I'm being taken back to the Three of Cups. This is a celebration that's near... A toast of friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups in happiness. Three cheers are done. Interesting. Okay, let's clarify. Okay, so on focus and surrender to wonder and awe. Ooh. Like I said, still waters run deep. This King of Cups is somebody that loves so deeply. This is, look at 
the radiation coming off of his heart chakra. This is going to be something deep, 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 deep. This, when this, now this could be male or female, okay? This is male or masculine energy, okay? When this person steps into your life, if they haven't already, I think you're going to have trouble focusing on anything else, to be perfectly honest. Wow. Interesting. But you're needing to focus on, on the projects, right? This is just going to be, well, I don't look at a person as a project, but you know what I mean? You have, you're going to have different areas in your life, in your world that you can and need to focus on, but find the balance. This is going to wow you in every way possible. Now on the surrender to wonder and awe and deep emotions, holy, 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 <laughs> the sun, like I said, this is going to wow you in a big, big way. Leo, this is your card. You know, it's all about guiding guidance it's it's your ability to take over any impulses that you might have and direct your mind and your choices to people and situations that are going to serve you and move out of situations and away from people that no longer serve you bottom of this deck part of the overall energy now too is the knight of swords knight of swords can be somebody that moves impulsively he moves very quickly without thought he just goes okay and he moves very fast but we're being asked here to take over those impulses and direct ourselves toward choices and commitments that are better suited to us no more impulsive actions we're being asked to no longer be impulsive in our forward movement now what are we going to get next okay we're going to get a shaman's dream oracle card here So now on the King of Cups and the Sun card, Vanishing Mirror, Ego Sublimation. This I am going to read from the book for you, but I'm going to put it in front of the camera so you can look at it when I read. Okay, card number 58, and it says, Ego Sublimation letting go of self-centeredness, becoming a vessel of possibility. Do you ever wonder if your self-definition has become too rigid, too fixed around what you've come to learn so that you contract your life into zones of safe versus unsafe? This here is okay, but over there, well, that might be too risky. Judgment, fear, self-righteousness, and overconfidence are only some of the traits that keep you from evolving. We are all products of our conditioning, so remember that this is part of the human experience, yet you're not meant to remain static. Seeking only what you expect, even if it appears ambitious, is still too narrow. You go nowhere when you hesitate to move out of your comfort zone. When you focus... <laughs> When you focus 
too much on yourself this way, you become a servant of the ego. It edges good out, removing the magic of possibility. And that plays off of this surrender to wonder and awe, because that's about magic, right? Oh, geez, this card does not want to stay put. Okay, imagine looking into a mirror and seeing only what you are now. If you can let your self-definition soften, moving beyond the veil to your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again, who could you be? What would you see reflected if you allowed yourself to be other than how you define yourself right now? Nothing less is required of you now. In this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you to emerge. You will recognize yourself as what you are, a partner in co-creation, in service to the divine. Doesn't it feel good? <laughs> this, 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 this goes so perfectly with your reading up to this point. It really does. Oh, sorry guys, it doesn't stay there. It goes down here. It's, it's interesting how we, we're doing an upside down pyramid here. And as we go through and get to the last card of the pyramid, it basically encompasses everything that we've just talked about, including these two cards here. The overall energy is, is talking about what we got here off this, the message off this. If you want great personal power, you've got to have the ability to shut down those impulses if they're not going to move you in the direction that's best for you, right? So in other words, serving divine, because divine is within you. That's your soul. It's, it's source, spirit, whatever you want to call it. It flows through you, to you and through you. And that's what you want to serve. This was a very interesting spread for you. Leo and Virgo. Okay. I love it. This is door number one. We will now be moving into door number two. Thank you all for being here. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Okay, door number two. My camera didn't record. I got all the way through your reading and I went to shut it or put it to pause so I could go into the next door and realized it wasn't recording. It didn't record any of... <laughs> so I'm doing it over again. Okay, but I had already chosen all your cards and everything, so I'm not going to redo that because the message was loud and clear. It was a great message. We're going to just pretend like it didn't happen. Okay, and I'm losing these little things all over the place. So door three, here we go. Or door two, I'm sorry. It says, The Odyssey. Take in the beauty of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. Okay. Now, that is perfect when we take a look at the first card we have, the Sacred Destiny card, because you have freedom. Right? Now, I am going to read that from the book for you. The sacred landscape wants you to know this. Express yourself without hesitation. Break free and let your spirit fly. I think this is it. Hang on. Yes. Make choices that increase your freedom. Don't be tied down. Laugh, dance, explore, and go beyond predictable behavior. Be daring. Cast aside restrictions. Find your wings, and as you do, you'll help others find theirs. You're not here to be ordinary or live a mundane life. You're here to step beyond limitations and self-imposed boundaries. Don't be trapped by convention or the need to please others. Choose life on your terms. Don't accept rules that don't feel right. You can be immensely free and yet still be a part of a loving, supportive community. Okay? Okay, and your second card was with the power of surrender. 
and you have surrender your ego okay and it says cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals so and there's a lot about you know it door number one again there was talk of freedom and ego and letting things go the third card you have this is from the priestess of light deck and this is telepathy transmission perception communication you are being moved virgo and leo into a place of great great intuitive abilities telepathic abilities psychic increasing psychic abilities sorry psychic abilities increasing this is about moving through life from a place of intuitive guidance rather than ego and impulse block impulse move only in the direction that you know is best for you that's going to serve you okay now I'm not going to shuffle because obviously I already went through that and drew the cards. So I've just put them back on top as they were there for us the first time I recorded or thought I was. Now on top of freedom and surrender your... Oh, I put them in the wrong way. Freedom and surrender your ego. We have the Four of Swords. Okay. This message that came with this card was it's all about taking that rest taking the break the work that is being done here to take you from ego to intuitive ways of living is going to be very exhausting you're going to need to recover from that you're going to need to recharge but i also got another specific message with this card and it was for someone or a few of you specifically something was ripped literally ripped from your world now, I don't know if it's a death in your world. It's not coming. It's already happened, okay? Either there was a death in your world or a breakup of some kind or just a dark night of the soul moment where your old thought patterns, your belief systems were literally ripped from your world. I mean, they were ripped. So this is something that you're likely going to need to be recovering from just get some rest take a step back reflect on whatever it was that took place because whatever it was is bringing you freedom and the freedom comes from the intuitive forward movement moving through life intuitively is so much easier than moving through ego or your thoughts move with your heart your feelings not your thoughts okay and now on top of surrender your ego and telepathy you have the king of pentacles this is king midas all this is energy okay it's masculine energy it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's a male figure but it could be this is having everything you want no more financial worries you're not going to have to worry about money anymore when you move out of ego and into an intuitive way of living and moving meaning you move by way of feel not by thought okay go with your feel go with your gut if it feels good if it feels really right then you're being guided go that way bottom of the deck part of your overall energy here is the world this is that closure this is that phase that really big phase in your life that's needing to come to a close this is you know an old way of thinking believing moving through life feeling it's all changing it had to close out so you could have this new beginning for some of you that's why i think it was ripped out of your world some of you were aware of it and you moved in the right direction you released yourself from whatever it was and it was the right thing to do and it is moving you forward and you are about to have this new beginning now the next card we pulled was from the um shaman's dream oracle and i want to point out 
this is the same card in the same place that door number one received. Unbelievable. I'm going to read it from the book for you. It says, and now again, it's talking about ego, okay? Ego sublimation, letting go of self-centeredness, becoming a vessel of possibility. Do you ever wonder if your self-definition has become too rigid, too fixed around what you've come to learn so that you contract your life into zones of safe versus unsafe? This here is okay, but over there, well, that might be too risky. Judgment, fear, self-righteousness, and overconfidence are only some of the traits that keep you from evolving. We are all products of our conditioning. So remember that this is part of the human experience, yet you're not meant to remain static. Seeking only what you expect, even if it appears ambitious, is still too narrow. You're going to want to take a look at the Chosen Ones video that's coming out this Saturday, because that's exactly what the message is in that. You know, you're moving in one direction thinking, this is the way I want to go. And all of a sudden, things aren't working out for you. So you're moved in a different direction that you don't really want to go in. And that wasn't the plan. Go anyway, because it's a better direction for you. Okay, that's intuitive living. You go nowhere when you hesitate to move out of your comfort zone. When you focus too much on yourself this way, you become a servant of the ego. It edges God out, removing the magic of possibility. Imagine looking into a mirror and seeing only what you are now. If you can let your self-definition self soften, moving beyond the veil to your potential, a magical emptiness exists where all things are possible. Look again. Who could you be? What would you see reflected if you allowed yourself to be other than how you define yourself right now? Nothing less is required of you now. In this moment, let go of who you think you are and allow a new you to emerge. You will recognize yourself as what you are, a partner in co-creation, in service to the divine, and doesn't it feel good? Yes, it does. Now, isn't it interesting that this ego sublimation sits right underneath surrender your ego? Because basically, they're both saying the same thing. Surrender your ego. When you surrender your ego, you live from a place of intuitive guidance. It brings freedom. It brings money. It brings happiness. It brings everything you want. It releases fear, stress, anxiety. You are on an odyssey. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. You are moving in such a beautiful direction, everyone. Now, we're going to move into door number three. So if you're moving with us, that's great. If you're not, if you're done at this point, I want to thank you for being here. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Okay, door number three. And what it says is nomad. The nomadic wanderer lies deep inside, so take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. Virgo and Leo. I believe... Hmm. All the doors basically kind of say similar things. And it's like you're on this path of great growth. <laughs> okay. Sacred Destiny deck. And it says, oh, wow, solitude. You are going to maybe want to watch my Chosen Ones video on my Chosen Ones channel. Um, the link to my Chosen Ones channel is below. There is a reading 
not a reading, I'm sorry. There's a video that's going to be published this Saturday and it's called There's Power in Solitude. I don't know what it is about us, you know, what it is that we're, what we're doing, where we're going, a direction we're headed in. But for some reason, some of us, a lot of us are being asked to go it alone. Um, power of surrender. Surrender to non-action. Yeah, solitude, non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Like I said, there's power in solitude. Let others come to you. If you hear growling in the background or any noise like that, it's my dog. He's Mr. Grumpy again today, but he's fine. This is the Priestess of Light deck, and this is a beautiful card. It's death and rebirth, darkness to light, Virgo, Leo, sun signs if you find yourself in a dark place right now you are about to shift into the light you just need to do it alone sit still do not take any action at this point in time be on your own allow the growth that's that's wanting to take place here look at this even with this nomad card because nomads are they not usually on their own the nomadic wanderer lies deep inside, so take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. That is very cool. Okay, so now we're going to get some Lightseer's cards, or a couple of Lightseer's cards here. Okay, on solitude and surrender to non-action, you have three of swords. It's possible that some of you are healing from a heartbreak. Some of you maybe have been moved out of a relationship, a partnership. I was just told to come back here, so hang on just a second. Yeah, you're being pushed by the universe, or you were pushed by the universe. You're being um, pushed to move outside of your comfort zone because like the card says, that's where the magic is. <laughs> Look at this. This is why I was taken back here. Look at, um, so take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. And this says, you may need to plot a course, invent a way through, or take a leap. Step by step, baby steps, right? We're being asked to take baby steps. And that's what this is saying. Plot a course, even if you have to break it down to a step by step plot, right? It may include walking away from a relationship. It may include walking away from something or a situation that's going to break your heart. It could also be that you just need to sit in solitude and reflect on the past heartbreaks. But you're being asked to not take action at this point in time, okay? But you will, apparently you are going to be guided to take some kind of a leap here. Now on surrender to non-action and death and rebirth. Yeah, it's probably within the rebirth that you're going to be asked to take a leap of faith. Coming out of the darkness. Because I want to point something out. Look at here, the beginning here for you guys. The solitude is very dark. So this could be where the death is taking place and then the rebirth, and then you come out into the light. And that's why you're being asked to um, surrender to non-action. Okay, 
So on top of surrender to non-action and death and rebirth, you have the Eight of Swords. Moving through the fear. You're needing to move out of that place of... I feel like some of you, there's, there's something here that I'm not sure what it is, but it feels like whatever it was that took place, like, and putting it back together with the Three of Swords, because it it's you reflecting back on a point in time where you felt trapped, alone and trapped, and you couldn't see where you were going. It was dark. This is a place of heartbreak. You are coming out of that. Okay, you will be coming out of that. Now I'm going to get, oh, bottom of the deck, part of your overall energy here. Yeah, the hermit. This is you, Virgo. Going within, going deeper. Just like the new moon reading I did, the most recent one, there was a clear message in that and again in the extended version of it that we all need to go deeper. And I'm doing my readings for Virgos only. And, you know, in these ones, um, the planetary zodiac signs as well. But we are all being asked to go deeper, go deep, 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 figure out what's inside of you, who you are, what you are, direction you want to go in. And this is going deeper. This is connecting, total connection to your inner guidance system, to your soul, spirit, source, whatever you want to call it, God. Because we're all being guided to move forward in a new direction. When you go deep and get connected, you know exactly the direction you're meant to go in because you're so connected okay now we're going to get a shaman's dream oracle card but right now you're on a path where you need to be alone whatever this is is this yes this is our card okay it doesn't surprise me just by what it is. Card 11, no less, Virgo. Wow, card 11. Deep quiet, meditation, and stillness. I gotta tell you guys, I don't know what it is about this color, but even notice my thumbnails on my channel have switched to being about these colors. I am so drawn to these purples and pinks and golds, and I don't know why. I even came across some um, number, a number that came to me was 11, was it 11, 11, 13 or 11, 13, 13? I can't remember now, but it's the number of a color, a Chinese color, and it's, it's Chinese black, it's called, but it's the deepest, the deepest, darkest purple that you can find. It's crazy. Okay, I'm going to hold this up for you here. So I'm going to read it for you and you can have something to look at. But there is something about this deep, dark purple. For me anyway, it might be for you too. Okay, it says, Deep quiet, meditation, stillness, and clarity. When deep quiet appears, it's a message from the cosmos calling you to stillness which you also have here with this non-action card. To step outside the concerns of your everyday life, this does not mean to slow down and take a breath, although that is a good start. The cosmos is inviting you to, go, here we go, go deep to that place where the noise stops and there is only the vast emptiness of inner space. That is another message from either the second door or the first door, talking about an emptiness. When we don't respond to the invitation offered by deep quiet, life can stop us in our tracks with an illness or a crisis. Listen to the still, small voice. Remember that you want to catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. A shout, everyone, 
is a tower moment, okay? It's when spirit tries to guide us and we don't hear spirit's guidance and eventually we get a tower moment. That's the shout. And it's only human to argue that you are too busy to slow down, that you don't have the time, the inclination, or the money for a retreat. Do not let any of these reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. After you have said yes to this invitation, you will find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will enjoy the freedom that comes with stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the silence. This talks about freedom. Card number two or door number two, one of the cards there was freedom. And we are all connected, especially being that we are all Virgos. And yes, Leo, you're here too. But everyone else is a Virgo. And we are all connected. So it doesn't surprise me that all three doors are connected the way they are. And that the same generalized messages are coming through. But you really, really maybe take a look at the new moon reading. There was a lot of messages in there and the big one was going deeper. Very interesting. You are going to be asked to take a leap of faith here. Maybe that is this retreat. Take a leap of faith and take just a short holiday. Just get away from it all. In solitude and quiet stillness. Because you are going through or about to go through a death and a rebirth. Okay. And that's going to maybe bring up a lot of old pains, old traumas take you to a place of feeling fearful again and then you need to go deep you need to figure this out you need to this is life lessons right they bubble up to the surface we're made to relive them and feel them emotionally again and it's all about gaining the understanding of what it was in the first place and why it traumatized us and why we stuffed it down so deeply that we've forgotten about it Door number one had the same, same kind of message. Deep emotions that were unknown. Some of them are from a past life. Whew. Okay, <laughs> the energies in these three readings are very intense. They're very deep. They're very strong. You are all headed for such greatness. You have no idea, no idea. I hope it resonated. I hope it helps. I love you guys and I will see you next time.